for a small burg of around 1,000 residents, situated along both sides of the Russian River, Monte Rio has had more than its 15 minutes of fame. So she left Monte Rio, son. Tom Waits sings about it. Bing Crosby used the Village Inn as a movie set. Holiday Inn. Never it is the site of a world-famous golf course. One of the most popular nine-hole golf courses in the United States because of the redwood trees and the scenic beauty of the golf course. Duke Kahanamoku, the father of surfing and Olympian swimmer, vacationed at Monte Rio Beach. The James Franco flick, Burn Country, was based here. With all due respect, you couldn't possibly know what's strange for this town. And of course, Monte Rio is home to the Bohemian Grove. The Bohemian Club was founded by a group of San Franciscan newspapermen in 1872 that purchased the ancient Redwood Grove for their summer encampments. The private campground at the end of Bohemian Avenue in Monte Rio now covers 2,700 acres and has counted among its guests Jack London, Walter Cronkite, and Bob Weir. Uh, let's see, I started working at Bohemian Grove in 1947, I think it was, as a busboy. Alan Cumming spent 17 years working at the Grove. But I've met quite a few actors and presidents. Well, he was assistant Grove master at the Grove, so he's met every president is uh, automatically member of the Bohemian Grove. Isn't that correct? Not everyone. Oh. Republican. Oh. <laughs> Rosie Boney well, was 23 and a new bride when she settled in Monte Rio. We bought Green Gables Resort at the end of River Boulevard. Then for the first few years, I would take care of the resort, and my husband was working in San Francisco. We had it for about 10 years. Um, we had a little resort <laughs> that we used around. Your mom and uh, stepdad owned the Pink Elephant. Yeah. Uh, they had a restaurant. I used to eat in there all the time when I was going to Monorail School. They had slot machines in Monorail. And the Pink Elephant had two, one on each side of the door going in. <laughs> so the obvious Bohemians are the Grove, but we have a lot of other characters. Bill Shad. I used to fish with him. He was colorful, and he was independent. He didn't like people falling when he was fishing. He could care less about illustrating, and he was a heck of an artist. This guy wanted to do illustrations and stories for building streams. Bill told him, he said, I don't have time. He says, what do you mean you don't have time? He says, I'm busy fishing. <laughs> Monte Rio continues to be a haven for true Bohemians, and there are hints of it everywhere. Thanks to whoever carved the redwood benches along Main Street, and whoever is using the beach as a canvas for your labyrinth. And to Edward Halsey for the bursting new flower beds recently planted under the Welcome to Monte Rio sign. It started off as a way of honoring my late mother. I was grief-stricken, so I thought I would uh, do some sort of memorial where it could be viewed by people. And then I also thought, you know, after the flood and all, I think it'd be a good thing to kind of lift morale a little bit. And so I started um, just digging a hole. Everything was different. People appreciated what I was doing. There was love from strangers. I felt part of the community. I just thought, well, hell, maybe this will catch on and we might be a town of blossoms.